the Viva Engage Community Champion Award. So the Viva Engage Community Champion uh, recognises passionate community managers or influencers, people who are in an organisation who are committed to employee engagement and knowledge sharing and, you know, nurturing and driving collaboration in their Viva Engage networks. Um, this year we had lots of very deserving people nominated by their colleagues, but there's got to be a winner. Um, what I want to do is share a little bit about this year's winner. Um, and then I'm going to hand to uh, John Bates from Microsoft to actually announce the winner's name. So, John, good to see you there. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it to you in just a moment. You get the fun, fun bit. But I just want to say this, this year's winner is a keen user of Viva Engage. And from, from the, the nomination from their colleague, it's clear that they're a real champion and believer in the power of Viva Engage. Um, she is a leader, an influencer who makes a genuine difference. Um, one of the things that was raised that really caught my eye was the fact that this, the winner's storyline was the first in this organisation to start trending. And it, clearly her influence stretches across communities and topics. Um, she champions equity, diversity and inclusion and really uses Viva Engage to raise awareness and start discussions. Um, from mental health to parenting, faith and festivals to praise, our winner this year does it all. Um, most importantly, she's bringing more people into the conversation and that's where the power of, of Viva Engage really comes through, right? These champions and Hannah, thank you for the drum roll in the chat there. Um, I'm going to, I think I've said enough now, I'm going to hand over to, to John if I could ask you to come off mute and announce our winner is... The winner of this year's Viva Engage Community Champion Award is Rajinda Pryor, MBE from Network Rail. Congratulations and what an amazing set of nominations you've had. It's always so inspiring to see amongst our peer group, influencers like you that are getting out amongst such a complicated business like Network Rail and really championing employee voice, community and moving us away from, you know, just simply cascade communications. So thank you. Thank you for being a role model and all of your work to champion, champion the voice of normal people. Cheers, John. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I'm hoping Rajinda is on the call today because if Rajinda, if you're there, I feel like a I, I am, medium. I am, I am, I am. Can you can you hear me? <laughs> yes, can hear you yeah. loud and clear. Good, Congratulations. Good. Um, I'd Thank love you. to just hear a word from you on um sort of the the value that uh, Viva Engage adds for you in in your workplace and as an individual. I'd love to hear something from you on that. Sure, sure. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit gobsmacked. I, I've come, I've got really early for a journey to come to Birmingham, so um, I sort of feel like I'm half asleep. But first of all, can I just sort of say why I write? Because I think it's really important to, um, you know, I use this channel um, to sort of just, you know, just channel my thoughts and regulate my emotions. So I'm a bit of a night owl, and I write um, in the in, in the evening. Uh, the organisation that I work for, people work day shift, night shift, so. Um, I'm reaching people both in the day and in the night. And um, it's something, uh, you know, it's something for people to wake up to. So I'm conscious that I've got colleagues who I probably will never meet because they have different lifestyles and different, um, you know, roles. Um, and I write with, you know, with three things in mind. I write with purpose. I write with a deep passion. And I write with a word that you've mentioned, which is power, you know, because that power, when you share with other colleagues, is phenomenal. Um, I think some of the things that I really draw from is that I've got um, some great unique life experiences and uh, you know these life experiences are what we you know what we should you know and you know I, I, I'm, I'm open to sharing my vulnerabilities and, and my successes and sharing this with other people so that they can um, they can learn from these and, and I think you know um, turning something that could have been a negative experience into something positive for others can only um, help me, uh, you know, you know, reach deep into my soul and heal, but also for other people to get something from that. So, um, you know, I share to support with others. I, you know, some are happy, some are sad, uh, as you mentioned. So, you know, I cover a whole myriad of um, different um, topics. Um, and it, it, it's quite funny because um, when I did start this, uh, storyline 
I remember the I, I remember the very first post was um, I don't know what this is in terms of the storyline, but I think somebody um, will tell me if I'm doing it wrong or if I'm doing something wrong. But let's have a go. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know where it was going to where it was going to end. So. You know, I love the channel and the reason I love the channel is because it connects colleagues to colleagues. You know, I'm all about people. And I think, you know, that's what this channel um, empowers us to do. Um, for me personally, it's, you know, it's also really helped me build uh, my network and my profile as well. So I think um, I think that's important after the pandemic because we've all we've all sort of suffered a little bit through the pandemic. So it's about, um, you know, getting out there, stop feeling isolated and sharing and connecting with others. So um, thank you, Viva Engage. Uh, fantastic words. Thank you so much for making the time to share your thoughts and congratulations again. Um, Rajinda Pryor, MBE, no less. So, yeah, keep up the amazing work. Really, you, it's being recognised. I hope you can feel the love today. And uh, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.